All right, so uh, when I received my parts uh, for my engine, um, they told me that every, what everything weighed in grams, uh, the pistons, the pin, uh, the rings, the locks, total rod. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh them, try to weigh them all together on the scale um, to match them up. Because I weighed them individually. I ended up with some of the, I probably can't read these numbers on here, but I ended up with some that were um, as low as 765 grams on a rod up to 768. So three grams might not seem like a lot, uh, but in a rotating assembly at 6,000 RPM, that can add up. Um, so I did is I went and I, I modified the rods a little bit, took a little extra off of some of the edges that I've seen in other videos the guy said you can do, and I got them all within a gram. Then I weighed all of the pins. They're, they're all, they were all identical. So what I want to do now is actually um, get uh, make, make batches of them together because my scale is only accurate down to one gram. So if you're off by a half a gram, you know, three times, uh, that could be a gram and a half, and you might actually, you know, not be as close as you think. So, I'm going to start out. Um, I wrote the numbers on the on the connecting rods. I ended up leaving some of them, you know, 765 to 767. But I'm going to, I matched them up with, with the other uh, pistons and, and whatnot. Um, I'm within a gram. If it was off by more than that, um, I would be really concerned. The majority of the weight on the rod is down here. I know you can set up a whole jig and balance it. I'm not going to push. I'm not pushing seven, eight thousand RPM. I'm not putting. Um, uh, you're not putting boost to this. Um, you know, my engine's going to operate up to maybe five thousand RPM. They made these things in the factory all the time. They did just fine. Uh, but since I do have it apart and not put together yet. Um, I wanted to, to get them as close as I could uh, within reason. It gives me a chance to try out my scale and whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to match them all up. Um, I have to do a little mix and matching. I wrote all the numbers on these. So this one has... <laughs> the one I pull out doesn't have a number on it. Great. Um, it must have been one of the ones that was the same as the rest. So that's why I didn't write it on there. 474. Oh my goodness. I literally wrote this on every other piston you'll see. Okay, so I got 474 there. Just to prove it, here's another one. It has 474 written right on it. So, um, anyway, let's get to matching these up. I am not going to get all the way down to weighing the rings and the clips. That would be ridiculous. Again, I'm not going crazy on this, but I do want to weigh the pistons and the rods together. Um, I came up with should be 2156 with the wrist pins. Let me see if I can get them out of here. I kind of forced this box in here earlier. Ah, all right. And these all weighed the same. Air quotes, the same. But again, who's to say that all together it is the same? So 1390. And mark all three of these with a one. One.
now that I have all my numbers, and take a look, I have three at 1390. One, two, three. Uh, 1388, two, 1389, two, and one at 1387. Obviously, I'm going to take one of the 1390s and I'm going to swap some parts and see if I can get this down to like 1388, 1389. And then I'll, and then I'll take this 1388 one, mix it with some parts from a 1390, try to get it at 1389. And then I think we'll be good. Um, I might even take like number four, take Take the, the rod and the piston from that, since those are both light, and mix it with these two um, to, to even it out. We'll, we'll, I'll play around here a little bit. So let's actually, let's swap out five and seven. Okay, so this number eight is going to go back home. Okay, here's number seven. There's seven. There's seven. Here's five. And five. Okay. So I'm going to do is I'm going to put number seven with number five. Oops. Oh, thirteen eighty nine. Perfect. So this is number number seven piston. Change this to number seven rod. Seven piston, seven rod, seven pin. 1389. Okay, so now um, seven now weighs 1389. I'll put number seven back. Seven back, number seven back. Okay, so this number seven rod becomes number five now. Let's change him a little bit. Put five on here, five on here, and number five here. 1388. So that drops quite a bit. So number five is now 1388. Okay. So I might have some more switching I can do here. So now I have two of them at 1390. Um, I still have number four at 1387. Um, so let's swap him out with number four and number one. Let's do a swap there. So these are all properly marked now. Five. Five, we'll put them back. Um, again, I know this is not what you would do with a high-end racing engine, but for what I'm doing, this it's gonna balance out each um, each assembly um, to be very, very close. This helps guys also get rid of the rounding error from the scale. I didn't buy a real expensive scale, it doesn't go to tenths of grams, it's whole grams. So this also helps with some of the rounding error. All right, so let's swap out. Um, let's see here. What was I going to do? 1389, 89, 90, 90, 87. Um, I'm going for 1388, 1390. I was going to say number four. That's the lowest one. So let's uh, swap out number four, which is over here. Swap out number four. Boy, I kind of smudged that number, didn't I? Good thing I put them in order. Four. Okay. 
four is thirteen eighty seven. So four. Let's swap him out with number with the uh, number one rod. We give him the number one rod. What does that do? Number one rod and number four. Thirteen eighty-nine. So number four now is thirteen eighty-nine. Okay, so my OCD is kicking in. I have all of them. Thirteen eighty-nine, thirteen eighty-eight, thirteen eighty-nine, thirteen eighty-eight. So I am still gonna play around with a couple more of these and see if I can get them all the same number. Uh, it, it's going to be very tough because of the resolution on my scale, you know, just the wind blowing on it. It just went to 1389. Now it's settled down to 1388. Um, I'm probably within literally within a half a gram on these. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit more mixing and matching, uh, to see what I can come up with. Um, but th that's the, that's the whole point of this is, is you can mix and match, uh, to get your to get your weights uh, close again, I'm not concerned about weighing one end of the rod to this end of the rod um, to get them all exactly the same. Uh, I'm I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about the the mass per cylinder is what I'm concerned about. So you can get your numbers you know close. Uh, it, it's really good practice. You know, like, again, if I had bought a more accurate scale, um, I'd be probably going more nuts because then the numbers would be even harder to, to match up. So I'm going to keep playing around with this and then uh, I'll then I'll show you what I ended up with and we'll close out the video. Okay, so as you can see, I did a bunch of swapping and everything else. I got them all the 1389 um, except for two are at 1388. But anyway, I got them all within, they're all within one gram. So I am super happy <laughs> with how that turned out. Uh, that was kind of a fun exercise. Again, this is now how you would balance with the with the scale and the jig and everything else if you're trying to balance these in perfectly. Um, but it also it let me know that you know I'm not off by several grams on something to where it could cause some vibration in the engine. So it's um, it's good to be able to go through and measure this and understand what you're doing. Um, and like I say, I'm pretty confident all these are within. Or within a gram now on the assembly, and I have them all numbered and everything. So I'm just going to put them back in my box, and then they can await um, assembly. Uh, they, like I say, they're all marked and ready to go. So that's it for today's video. I really appreciate all the people that have been uh, liking and subscribing uh, to the channel. You know, liking the videos, making comments. All that stuff helps tremendously with my uh, with my YouTube with the YouTube algorithm um, to help show my videos to more people. So if you like what you're seeing, please uh, please like, um, subscribe, uh, share with your friends. Um, if you have some some suggestions that you'd like to see on this upcoming uh, engine build, where I actually start putting it together, I'm going to order some more parts tonight. Uh, in fact, right when I get done here, I'm going to place my order. Uh, for my camshaft and a bunch of the other internals, I'm going to order my transmission rebuild kit, so that'll be coming up. Um, yeah, it's just a, a lot going on to rebuild an engine. Uh, again, if you guys have uh, suggestions or anything like that, I'd really appreciate them. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video, and thanks for coming along. Have a great day.